Okay, so I've finished my disc sanding on this and I've got my sides fairly well done out at about 150 grit. I like the looks of my plunge cuts, the whole shape. And I'm going to do one last thing before I get ready to harden this and temper it and try to put that tempering line in, which is I'm going to, I'm going to do one more pseudo normalization heat. I'm going to take it up to about 1275 degrees, pull it out of the oven and let it cool. Um, according to John White, and this is what it is, we're doing really strange things to the structure of the steel and it needs all the help we can get to get a really good vibrant hamen on it. So what I don't want to have happen is I don't want to have this knife come out of the oven at this point all covered in scale and nastiness and have to clean it off again. So I'm going to wrap it up in some plain white paper and then I'm going to put it in some stainless steel uh, heat treating foil and wrap it up really tight and I'm going to ramp it up and hopefully I can keep this thing scale free. Okay, so um, we're back. We've put our knife through that final normalization and we're ready to go into the heat treating on this. Uh, the one thing I didn't show you is I did drill a 964 hole in the tang and that is, uh, we'll show you what that's for. I do that on all my knives. On this knife it has two purposes, which I'll get to in a moment. Just want to show you the whole heat treating setup here. Um, this is the Paragon heat treating kiln. Uh, it's digitally controlled. I've got my um, racks in there to hold the knives on edge. I'm going to be doing three knives at the same time. Um, this is my heat treating oil quench tank. Uh, I've got um, Texaco 70 heat treating oil in there. Um, this is a drying rack for when they come out to hang them um, with wires when they're, they're heated and quenched. They'll go there, but before they go there, they go into this little thing here. Now this is a vise with, I've replaced the jaws with uh, two bars of copper. And once I quench the knives, before they're fully fully quenched, they're gonna come in here and they're gonna drop down straight into the jaws and then I'm gonna tighten this down and I'm gonna straighten that knife in the hardening phase. Um, you'll see how that works in a moment when we get to it. But um, that one of the things that that hole in the back of them for is when I pull the knives out of the oven, I use this little hook thingy here and I grab that knife through that hole and I pick it out of the oven and I can hang it perfectly plumb as it goes into the quench tank. Um, one of the big reasons that knives warp during the quench is because they don't go into the oil perfectly straight and plumb. And when they go in at an angle, one side ends up cooling quicker than the other for a brief small amount and that makes the knife warp. So before we get to uh, putting this in, we are going to try a temper line on this. So we're gonna go apply some clay. Okay, so I've got black Rutland furnace cement here. I've mixed it up with a little bit of water to kind of loosen it up a little, get it going. Some guys use Satanite refractory for their clays. Some guys use their own mixture of a variety of different things. I use the Rutland Furnace Cement because it's cheap, it's available, and it, it works, frankly. So I'm just going to paint a little bit on here, going to keep it kind of thin, going to get it kind of along the spine area, going to let it kind of do its thing. I'm going to try to design a little bit into what goes on with it, you know, and get sort of an irregular shape on the... The, the leading edge of the hemon, 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 I don't know how you pronounce that, the temper line. I'm going to try to get it to be, you know, somewhat artistic in a way. I don't want to get it too close to the edge there. I'll wash, wash that off. And then I'm going to just throw in some little other spots here for some variety and maybe some little wispy things somewhere. <clears throat> Get that into my ricasso a little bit. Do the other side.
doesn't need to go on too thick. What this does is this prevents the steel underneath it from actually coming up to hardenable temperature. So there we go, we've got a clayed blade. We're not gonna let this dry. We're gonna stick it straight in the oven and bring it up to temperature as fast as possible. And then we're gonna quench that once we like what we've got. And here we go. <clears throat> okay, so here we are. The Polygon oven is reading 1473. We're going to take it to 1485. And then we're going to do our quenching. I preheated my oil up. It is currently measuring at 100 and... 125 degrees right where we want it you want your oil between 120 and 130 somewhere around there for best results 1484 on the paragon 1485 86 we are ready to quench Take it out, put it in the vise, on the spine, nice, tighten it up, that copper bar will complete the quench, and straighten that sucker out. Temperature has dropped back down to about 1455, there's two more knives in there. I'm going to leave that in the bars, in the vise for a couple of minutes here. Just let it finish the quench on that. Keep that straight. There we go. Now we take a little wire. We hook it through that hole. We undo the vise. And we hang the knife on the rack. We've completed the quench. So here it is out of the quench. Um, just cleaned it up with a little bit of steel wool, very fine steel wool. Clean all the residue as much as I can of that, um, the clay off of it. Looks like we're gonna have some pretty good Heyman activity. We've got a lot of activity on this knife here. We'll know a little bit better after we get to sanding and grinding and etching on it, but I think it's a success. Looks fairly straight we got a little bit of a warp here i think we'll take that out in the surface grinding excellent here we go we have um tempered the blade out this is 1095 it has tempered at 350 degrees for one hour take it out after that tempering cycle is done come back over line up the edge of the blade in our copper jaws in the vise. Line up this very section with that plunge cut, clamp it down nice and tight, and keep the edge perfectly straight. Let that cool off. 
We'll do another temper cycle at 375 degrees for an hour. We'll pull that knife out while it's hot at 375 and we'll repeat this exact same function here to keep that edge perfectly straight. And that's all there is to heat treatment. Stay tuned. Next up, we will be doing the finish grinding.